Hi, this is Russ and it's Luke from Production Expert and I've been Luke. asked to work with Luke today on showing you Session Wire in action. Now, Session Wire, at first glance, you would think, why not use Zoom? But we want to show you why you'd use Session Wire to do some, some online collaboration. Uh, now, there's been lots of versions of this, but this one seems to be the most clearly thought out. Uh, we'll just quickly show you over the interface that you can see on our screen. Uh, so on my screen here, I've got Studio One in the background. Uh, and Luke, what have you got in the back? What, 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 what door are you on? So I'm, I'm running Pro Tools at the moment, Russ. Okay, so he's in Pro Tools and I'm in Studio One. So the great thing is it's door agnostic and there's plugins for every major door, AAX, AU and VST. And so what you have is two parts to the whole ecosystem in a sense. You have this part, which is the standalone application. And what this is allowing us to do is two things, comms. So you can see TB on mine. And if, if Luke talks for a second. Yeah, so this is my talkback going to Russ. And this is my talkback going to Luke. And we can mute them and we can turn them on. And secondly, then you can see there's one called HQ and that's my high quality stream going to Luke. And that's what he's going to be listening to in a while. And this is where it differs from just saying, let's get over Zoom and try and do this or any other thing. And we've got pretty cool ways of setting this up, but we're going to try and kind of start with the basics today of how we're going to work on this. So Luke's done a track and he's played it to me over the high quality stream. And so what I can do now, if I wanted to, I could mute my talkback audio to mute to, to Luke and I can go to the beginning. I'll tell you, Luke, one thing I really love about this is when you click outside of the actual application it doesn't disappear and go behind another window so it's always that's it's right it's forced really on top it's got like forced on top which is really helpful so he's played he sent me this track as a cumix so i've got it on my timeline because he could effectively play it down the timeline for me to sing to, but there'd be latency. That's inherent in, that's to do with the comm systems we're all connected to. That's that's the interweb at its worst. So what he's done is he sent me over the backing track that I'd already listened to and got an idea for. But what I am doing now is Luke is hearing me in high quality over, over the internet and he's hearing the backing track he sent me. So I can now play. Yeah, it's good to be here with you and I. So, and so I can start busking and say, Luke, what do you think of this idea? That's pretty cool. It's a good start. Yeah. To, to be honest, I've never heard the track before and I'm just kind of, but you get the point. So I'm, I've, I've even put a bit of seventh heaven on myself. And the way this works is if you look on my desktop here, is that all I have to do, it's really not complicated. All I have to do is instantiate the session wire send plugin, which is here. And then I'm sending from, from all my tracks as an auxiliary send out to this plugin, which means I can change the volume. So if Luke said to me, turn, turn the track up a bit more, I can do that, but it doesn't turn the track up in my can, so I can turn it down. If he wants to just hear more of my vocal, I can do that. Now, what I've done as well, of course, because I've sent it on an org, so I've sent a pre-send on mine, a pre-fader send, so I'm not listening to my loop back on my audio. I'm just listening to a, a low, low latency version of that. And now I can go in here and say, hey, Luke, here's an idea, and I'll play it again. And... It's good to be alive, good to be alive. And this is the point where he decides he needs another vocalist for this track. <laughs> but Luke, you can hear that down the other end in high quality audio, can't you? My vocal and the backing track. That's it. And, it, and it's perfectly in sync because I'm, I'm hearing you out of your DAW. So you're hearing exactly. Now, we could have put that, that on the, depending on what door you've got, we could have put that on the master bus or we could have put that on uh, the... Uh, the inserts as well. The good thing about creating your own auxiliary send is you, I could put loads of instances of the sends and send Luke a monitor mix in high quality from each of the tracks. So we could say, Russ, lose the bass. Or So if this was a whole multi-track I was working with, then I could do that as well, which is really cool. Then all I have to do, as I say, is whack my door into record. Good to be alive. Thank you. Thank you for being here. 
You can see what I've done, I've recorded that, and when we're done, I can just send that over to Luke, he drops it in his timeline, and we're done. But I think, Luke, I don't know about you, but I don't know what's happening at your end. Can you talk through what you, your end for, for those that are watching this at the same time? Yeah, sure. So at the moment, I'm literally hearing Russ down the session wire connection in the video chat. And all of the audio that I'm hearing, all of the music that I'm hearing is coming out of Russ's, um, it's coming out of Russ's Studio One session. So that means that everything that I hear from his end is perfectly in time because what he hears is what I hear essentially because I have my, um, I have his session coming in purely over session wise so there's only one connection so there's there's not a lot to go wrong there and i also know um that robin over at session wire is working on functionality where you can drop files to your collaborator straight onto the video window so if i wanted to drop a file to russ i could do that simply by dropping it onto his video window at my end and then that will automatically upload at my end and download at his so we know that collaboration is going to get just that little bit easier soon as well, Russ. Now, if you really wanted to, instead of me recording it and sending him the file, which is possible, Luke could insert the, the, a high-quality receive uh, plug-in into a record track and could record me in high-quality audio while I'm doing it over the internet. Uh, you might want to do that, but the thing is that it's, it's not that hard to record it and send it to him anyway, and it's kind of belt and braces. So... Uh, as I say, dead easy to set up. If you hover over the windows, you've got these drop downs. This is where I select a microphone for my talk back. Uh, this is where I select, obviously, uh, the camera that I'm going to be playing back. And this is the, uh, I can screen share over this as well. So if Luke wants to see my screen and says, so actually, I, I, I could, let's say you've got somebody who's not very, let's say you're using a singer who's not very technical. They could, they could share their screen with the person who's recording, the, the producer of the session. And then they could say, I, what's going on? And Luke could say, if you just put that insert in there and turn that up, then I'm going to be able to hear you. And then here's where all the magic happens. This is the drop down where I can select whatever audio source I want to send to Luke. So I'm sending from my audience, my high quality audio, which is this stream here. And then as I say, I've also got this mic here, which is just sending him talk back. So that's low quality talk back audio. And, for, and the same for Luke. So if Luke sent, wants to put a send on his audio system, I could, I'd could i say, hey Luke, can you just play me about that vocal part that's on there? He could quickly put one on and I could hear his high quality audio as well. So it's, it's really that simple and it's rock solid. So I don't know about you, Luke, but thumbs up from me. Very much so. And also the, another thing, Russ, is when, when I'm collaborating with, with the artist, I can just very quickly play them a mix. So it, it doesn't just apply to individual instruments or a recording session like the one we've set up we can also use it to just to give um give the client a, a, an update on how the mix is shaping up as well so you know it's it's so useful in a in a number of different ways and even approval so in a sense for security it'd be quite good if you don't want to send a track to a, 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 a client who you, who you want to send a mix to that you could have a live mix session you could actually mix live with the that's the other thing you can use this for you could send your client a live stream they could be online like me and luke are now and I, and, and I could say, could you turn the bass up a bit more and or try that? And you can have an online mix session live. And uh, Very useful. Very useful. I think it's a great piece. So it's one of the lesser lesser annoying ones of these that I've seen. I don't know about you, Luke, but some of them I spend all day scratching my head trying to set them up. But this was pretty straightforward. Very much so, yeah. And, and I think for a lot of engineers working with musicians as well, um, Session wire is the one that is probably the easiest one to get your head around that, that we've tried, certainly. Yeah, in fact, the, when, we tripped up, when we got tripped up by session wire, it was because we were trying to overcomplicate the process. You can use session wire standalone if you want. If I just wanted to listen to a mix and sing down the track, I wouldn't even have to open my door. Uh, Luke could have sent me a high-quality mix. I could have listened to it and sang at the same time. And he could have said, yeah, Russ, that's nice. Then let's go ahead with recording this now. And then we could have set our doors up. It's all pretty straightforward. Great stuff. Well, um, it's, it's sounding great, Russ, and thank, thanks for connecting up. Um, it sounds like, you know, we've got a take. I think you need to clean your ears out, but thanks for the compliment anyway. <laughs>